Super Sulfated Portland Cement Super Sulfated Portland Cement is manufactured by intergrinding or intimately blending a mixture of granulated blast furnace slag, calcium sulfate and a small quantity of 33 grade Portland Cement. The percentage of granulated blast furnace slag should not be less than 70%. The required calcium sulfate obtained by calcination of highly pure gypsum at a temperature of 500 to 700 degrees Celsius to convert it to anhydrite which is calcium sulfate. In this cement tricalcium aluminate which is susceptible to sulfate attack is restricted to less than 3.5%. Super sulfate resisting cement can also be produced by the addition of extra iron oxide before firing of OPC. The iron oxide combines with alumina which forms C4AF which is not affected by sulfates. The substitution of granulated slag in this cement is responsible for better resistance to sulfate attack. Properties of typical supersulfated Portland cement. The fineness in terms of the specific surface should not be less than 400 meters square per kilogram. The cement should not have expansion more than 5 millimeters for Lachetlier test. The initial setting time of the cement is 30 minutes. The final setting time of this cement is 10 hours. The compressive strength of this cement after 3 days is 15 Newton per millimeter square after 7 days is 22 Newton per millimeter square and after 28 days is 30 Newton per millimeter square. Uses of typical supersulfated Portland cement. Supersulfated Portland cement is generally used for the similar purpose as ordinary Portland cement. This type of cement has higher water resisting property, thus, it is preferred in hydraulic engineering installations and also in constructions intended for service in moist media. This cement also used in the manufacture of RCC pipe and concrete structure which are to be installed in sulfate-bearing soils. This type of cement is particularly recommended for use in a foundation, where chemically aggressive conditions exist. But, this type of cement should not be used in constructions which are exposed to frequent freezing and thawing. Subscribe our channel for more civil engineering related videos.